So towards the end of the 1800s, two subatomic particles were discovered. The first one is negatively charged electrons. Electrons. And positively charged protons. An electron has a relative charge of negative 1 and a proton has a relative charge of plus 1. So, now we'll discover how J.J. Thomson proposed his model of the atom. Alright? So, now we'll find in the next slide. Okay? He proposed subatomic model of the atom in 1903. So, J.J. Thomson a subatomic model of the atom in 1903. What he proposed? So he said, okay, this yellow color one it's a pudding pudding and there is a plum in here so let me draw that so that let me see this pudding is positively charged okay in that pudding there is a Plum negatively charged. Negatively charged. This model was called plum and pudding model. So he said plum and pudding model. He described that you see those um, negatively charged, they are called plums and then pudding is the yellow color and so it's a, you can see that plum is in a pudding. That's what he described plum and pudding model. So what he proposed? He proposed He proposed that electrons, the electrons were distributed evenly throughout a homogeneous Sphere of positive charge.
So that was his model. And Thompson, let's go to next slide. So originally, Thompson could only calculate the mass to charge ratio of a proton and an electron. And then Thomson calculated the mass masses of a proton and electron. So what he did? He said an electron has a mass of 9.11 times 10 raised to minus 28 grams and a proton has a mass of 1.67 times 10 raised to minus 24 grams. Minus 24 grams. So you can see electrons are tiniest one. And Robert Millikan. Robert Millikan determined and what is it times 10 to the what? 10 to minus 24. Let me rewrite this one again. 24. Okay. Minus 24. Robert Millikan determined the charge of an electron. In 1911. So that's, that was discovery and Thomson model, plum and pudding model.